Tonight, I wish to welcome you to this joyous occasion, this joyous achievement, the first ever four-lane concrete highway that has been built by your government under the leadership of President Irfan Ali. I welcome you this evening. I welcome you to a new paradigm shift in the way things are done. I welcome you to a new dispensation. I welcome you to the future. Thank you very much. Mr. Rodriguez, and now let us welcome Mr. Sherwin Reeves, the CEO of the Central Housing and Planning Authority, for an overview of this special project. Thank you. Good evening. Your Excellency, Dr. Mohamed, and Mr. Ali. Honorable Prime Minister, good evening, Mr. Davis. Thank you, Mr. Governor, for that evening. Minister of Housing and Water, Minister of Defense, and Minister of Housing and Other members of the cabinet, special invitees, staff of the Ministry of Housing and Water, Central Housing and Planning, members of the media, residents of South Carolina, Texas, and Texas, and Texas. It is an honor and privilege to stand here this evening for this news to invite us. The commissioning of the Mandela Avenue to end the story. This transformative project has been executed by the government of the area through the Ministry of Housing and Water, Central Housing and Planning Authority. This project, as Minister alluded to, was first conceptualized by the President in 2030 when he was the Minister of Housing and Water. And it was approximately one year ago that our government pledged its commitment and support to construct this highway in order to ease the traffic congestion along the East Bank and Water as well as to improve accessibility for future residential, commercial, and industrial development. Today, His Excellency's vision and that of his government for such an historic endeavor is a reality. This four-lane highway was designed in accordance with the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Official Guide for the design of pavement structures and geometric design of highways and streets. The main highway is a jointed concrete pavement on a light sand base. The roundabout is an asphalted concrete pavement. And this highway is designed for high volume traffic. This highway will serve as an alternative route along the East Bank Corridor, which will significantly reduce traffic congestion, especially during peak hours. The project commenced on April 15, 2021, and it was completed on April 13, 2020, approximately one year, for a combined sum of $2,664,000,000. The project, was completed by eight contractors, namely Guy America, a joint venture with M&P Investment Incorporated and Puran Brothers, a joint venture with Colin Talbot Contracting Services and MNLAN, <coughs> Aramco Services Limited, Junior Sami Gayana Incorporated, M. Balvin and Son Contracting Services and Electrical Supply, PSM Investment, and brass aluminum and cast iron from the limit. The scope of works, this is an asphalted concrete on the road with reinforced concrete sidewalk. 2.8 kilometers of four lane rigid pavement with parking lane, 80 meters of asphalted concrete approach ramps, 12 reinforced concrete composite bridges, three reinforced concrete culverts, 5.6 kilometers of earthen drain, 300 meters of concrete drain, 214 solar power lamps, road signs and marking, and installation of paving stones in the media. The safety features added are road signage, road markings, road lighting, wide lanes, emergency lanes, 
white central medium which is raised and reinforced concrete barrier walls at each bush. It would be remiss of me if I didn't mention the success of this project. We're not have been possible to build a hard work and dedication of our staff within the Central Housing and Planning Authority's Project Department, ably led by its Director of Progress for Manor. They work day and night, raising the elements to ensure the success of this project. To the users of this highway, we wish to implore you to exercise your five seats, and you could look forward to much more progress in the near future. There is much, much more to come. Thank you.